So it's been a while since I have had this laptop and today I make the video and it will have three parts and the first one will be my experience with their warranty the second one will be an honest review of this laptop and the last one will be gaming benchmark so I will put a timestamp in the description so if you want to skip to all the parts of this video uh, feel free to do it I bought this laptop on eBay with this price plus shipping which is similar to the one listed on Dell.com but the point is I did not have to pay for tax and the tax rate in California cost this laptop over 800 so that was a steal for me and after checking with the seller I saw that the laptop will have warranty until May 2018 and it's still in seal so I think okay I will buy it no problem when I was using this laptop to watch YouTube video many times when I tried to skip to other part or fast forward it just froze both Google Chrome and the system and, but I ignore it because I even have a top that fucking Microsoft did that to force me to use their edge <laughs> so one night I was watching YouTube video I got blue screen of death out of nowhere and it restarted so fast that I could not see the error code then I thought maybe when I got the laptop I did do the fresh installation so I may miss some important driver I went ahead to Dell website download driver updated BIOS and I did the most retarded thing in my life switch from Chrome to Edge <laughs> and guess what I got blue screen of that while watching YouTube video on Edge the error code that I have is page 4 in non page area so it should be related to main memory when you have this problem you can expect that your RAM has problem or your hard drive has problem basically the operating system uses page file if you don't have enough RAM it stores temporary data into the hard drive and when that data is needed it's send the data to the RAM the first thing I did was to check the main memory I ran Windows memory diagnostics tool and it showed no error so I installed the RAM to the second slot rebooted the window open Assassin's Creed Unity to play then the system not only hang but also came with a weird annoying buzzing sound and it just stayed there with a noise I was so scared I had to force shut down the computer and then I tried to reboot it when the, I, I finished logging in it just froze the only thing I could do was force shut down I could not do anything with it since I already opened the back of the laptop I knew that the noise came from the hard drive so the only thing I could do <laughs> went to sleep then the next day I called their customer support and you think the guys in this picture right here pick up my phone no 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 it was Rakesh no offense to the Indian fellows but every time I call customer support <laughs> they are always Indians and I wish I took the picture of my phone call history because I the freaking iPhone automatically deleted clear the history but it took me one hour and 45 minutes just so that the guy who I talked to let me send my laptop to repair he asked me some stupid questions so that I could not get Kobo by warranty such as did you drop your laptop or did you place any magnet <laughs> near the laptop and told me to use dust can to blow dust which was not even necessary because I bought my laptop for less than one and a half month when I restarted the laptop the weird noise happened again so I put my microphone as close as I could so that he could listen to it then he told me to update the driver which I already did update the BIOS I already did run the memory diagnostics which I already did then he told me to reboot the machine and boot to Dell system or hardware check uh, I cannot remember correctly but it is implemented on Dell motherboard same as BIOS it scanned my hardware and reported no error so the guy concluded that my laptop has no problem I was shocked I was like my end? are you kidding me? I went ahead 
and rebooted two windows and the noise started again in my life that's the first time in my life i was so happy to hear that noise so i put my microphone close to the freaking hard drive so that he can listen to it and finally he put me on hold and later come back and told me that he had issued a fedex shipping label so that i can ship my laptop the shipping service they use is not even express i sent my laptop on saturday fedex shipped on monday and arrived on friday already costed me more than a week because of course dell doesn't work in the weekend when i checked the status of my laptop on august 4 they mentioned that the repair was delayed because lack of parts until august 9 they finished and started shipping the laptop back to me and here we are took me another week i am pissed on how rigged and robotic fedex is it could have arrived on friday but they'll schedule it on monday so they hold my package instead of delivering it and on monday of course me took a nap and missed the delivery causing my ass to drive 20 minutes to the post office to get it jeez when i received this paper showed that they replaced my hard drive before sending for repair i did took a photo of the whole hard drive to make sure that they fixed my laptop and replaced with a new one and they did in summary it took me two hours to talk to a representative and three weeks to have my laptop repaired overall i feel i am luckier than most people on the internet who complain about dell service if you cannot stand the hassle but still want to have a dell laptop i suggest you to buy in retail such as costco or amazon so that you can still return it you should stay away from dell warranty service before going to the other part of this video i would love to hear you guys tell me more about your experience with dell in the comment section the first thing you can notice is the matte material is a fingerprint magnet i left my fingerprint all over it even though my hand is dry making it dirty as hell On the left side, you have one ventilation, one charger port, one audio jack, and two USB 3.0. On the right side, you have one SD card reader, one USB 3.0 with lightning symbol. So even though the laptop is shut down, you can still charge your phone with this port as long as you plug in your laptop charger. 1 HDMI, 1 Ethernet, and 1 Kensington lock. If I flip back the laptop, you can see the pack panel doesn't cause any fingerprint. I prefer it. And if they use this for the top, man, it would be so much better. And here is one subwoofer, and you can see the two fans on the laptop through these holes and there are two ventilation there's only one screw for the back panel so it is very easy to access uh, the internal components because you just need one screwdriver and one credit card uh, of course I will use this one instead of my credit card it is super easy because I can do it with just one hand. That's the back. 
so I want to mention that they don't have enough dust filter in the back panel so dust can come inside a lot so if you want to keep your component clean you have to regularly blow dust though I just recently blow dust in this laptop and you can see that the dust get into it already use this dust can to blow it This is a 1TB 5400rpm underneath the left palm Wi-Fi chip 8GB 2400MHz DDR4 and I upgraded to 16 2 CPU GPU fans A not yet removable battery Why? You remove the battery You remove the warranty This PCIe slot allow you to upgrade to an M.2 SSD the charger has a blue LED light. The power brick is light. It's not heavy. But why they'll put a freaking rubber band in here? It gets so dirty that I don't want to touch it. I swear, when my warranty ends, this is the one thing I will remove. I will cut it. You can flip up the laptop with just one hand. Man, this is why one hand laptop. You have two stickers right here, which I believe you already saw. And the Dell stickers, which is can be easily scratched with zero effort. Bear in mind with that if you want to keep it look nice. And this bitch will be the second thing I removed when the warranty ends. It has a full size keyboard and one thing I don't like is the up and down arrow key which is tiny to play FIFA, PES or racing game but uh, well, I get used to it after a while. In addition, if you have long nails, be careful, you can scratch the keyboard. This is my experience with my Lenovo laptop so be sure to cut your nails or buy a keyboard cover just to be safe. Here's a trackpad and you have left click and right click. Compare with Lenovo JBL, this speaker is trash. I can tell you it is just trash compared to Lenovo. No way I can enjoy with this speaker. Here's the booting time with the hard drive. And here's the sound of the laptop when it is full load and idle. When the laptop get hot, there's two areas you can feel. The first one is the hard drive area and the second one is right in the middle of the speaker. It gets really hot in this area and underneath the laptop where we have two ventilation in the back. For battery, I think it's had a good battery life if you put on balance and if you even put on <laughs> power saver mode it can last even more. So I put balance and I can last from 7.30 am until 11.30 without charging. It's for just basic school work and I think it's really nice. I don't suggest you guys to game on battery on any laptop. Just plug in your charger and put it on high performance, you're good to go. 
The i5-7300HQ is a 4-core and 4-thread CPU, so it doesn't consume much power like an i7. But if you use virtualization to run virtual machine, additional logical processor make it less lag than running on this i5, even on an older generation i7. Why do I know it? Because my old Lenovo laptop has an i7. And if I set more core on my virtual machine than the real core, the whole system will freeze, both on virtual and real. And if you want to run virtual machine, I suggest that you should add another RAM stick so you can have more memory to use both machine. And finally is the webcam. It has a good quality webcam for a laptop. Overall, I think this laptop is an okay-ish laptop. The quality is not the greatest for the budget, since you can get something better with other brands such as Lenovo or Asus. There's something about it that make me doubt. But until now, it still served me well for my schoolwork. And I grade this laptop mm, 8 out of 10. For the video benchmark, I use NVIDIA Shadowplay to record a video, MSI Afterburner to show CPU, GPU, and RAM usage, and Fraps for real-time FPS counter. The laptop is not my main gaming rig, so I won't have a lot of game in this machine because I use it for my schoolwork. Each game I would test with 720p, 900p and 1080p
please pay attention to the FPS counter on the top right side of the video. so long. Shut the fuck up and drive. Woo! Did you see that shit? Fucking put that bitch's face against the glass. Did you see that? Yeah, you're <laughs> a real stout. <laughs> All right. Fuck. Come on. Ditch the car, all right? We can go this way to the chopper. No. Hey, stick to the plan. What? Stick to the fucking plan. Come on. Where the fuck's the chopper? Finish me! Fuck! 
fucking die! All of you! Kill me, you prick! Your son, James, he's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. And if that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores, smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another Bray and Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, would you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there with the yellow stairs. Yeah. Good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn. Why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting and reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all? Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie, this the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, 
Get your ass in me. Hey, bring your ass, fool. You're always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. Shit, come on. Damn. This nigga must got the baby dick. <laughs> yeah. And all this shit paid for with bad credit. You always was old choosy, motherfucker. Oh, you falling hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Right up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Fine. JB's tow truck, it ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. You ain't even testing me. Whatever, homie. Night, night. Damn, dog, how much we getting for these repos? I'm gonna be one reluctant motherfucker giving this up. Man, there's enough bad credit going around, homie. It's like it's an endless supply in this fucked up ass country. You wanna chunk them things? You little dick niggas do like them little cars. See, I heard you talk, homie. You big everywhere except where it counts. Fool, knock it off. How about we let Tanisha decide that? She definitely ain't dumb enough. Enough to fuck with your ass. Right, right, right. But I hear you. Left through the parking lot. Yeah, whatever you say. Keep up, homie. Whatever, homie. What you going slow up the road for, dog? Move over so the traffic can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't too sure that joke works, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. I don't get you, bro. You are a racist, and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this car. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, fool? Who are you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, 
that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Uh, but seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. W wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a high. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real and mean. He gonna get all his full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Samuel, I'm out. I'll holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. How about we fall through him? Man, I can't sleep cause it's time to go boom Or I'll be late with a murder show, nigga Man, it's just a motherfucking K It's a fucking ass motherfucker This jump change, how I'm gonna knock a fan grown and sexy bitch If I ain't got a fat peas eye? Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise with all that ass nigga she got ass she grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up, can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you, I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me, because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon, the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here. Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening. Goddamn freeloader. Wow. I'll be careful.
Hey, Dennis? Jason, what did you find? The vision led me to the man in white. Turns out he's a spy or something. Funny. I've never heard of such a man here on the island. Yeah, he told me about Voss's boss, Hoyt. Hoyt Volker. Stay away from him, Jason. You think Voss is crazy? All the evil on the island comes from Hoyt. He took Voss's mind away from him. It is he who pulls the strings. Wow. Okay, I'll be careful. Let's see what's up.
My boy, are you busy? You don't mind me calling, do you? Fantastic. You really are an excellent listener. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not to everyone's taste. But you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? <laughs> Regardless, next time I can promise you a better spread. That's the last time I'm kidnapping a fucking TV celebrity chef. to meet you, son of Mohan. I'm amazed you made it all the way here on your own. Sabal is waiting for you near the tower.
RJ, you made it. Good job, son of Mohan. Why are you guys helping me? You're the son of Mohan Kali. You may not know it, but that name carries a lot of weight in Kirat, especially for the Golden Bar. Are those army guys still looking for me? Pagan men will stop at nothing to get I you back. The enemy! Damn. Some of Pagan's men managed to track us. They'll be here any second. We're in for a fight. 